Hi guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to The Wandering Reader. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a different video. So you would have seen from the title that it is um, Franklin's Flying Bookshop and the Power of Reading. So kind of got my inspiration from the, for this video from um, reading this lovely book. It's a bit... There we go, that's probably a better angle. This is um, Jen Campbell's recent children's book release. And it is an absolutely gorgeous book. Um, it's all about Franklin, um, who's a dragon, and a flying bookshop. And that's literally all I'm going to say about it, because obviously, spoilers. Um, but it is an absolutely charming book. The illustrations in here are lovely. The illustrations are by um, Katie Harnett. And you can see, if I just show you one from perhaps the first page, how absolutely fabulous they are. Just, yeah, the kind of hand-drawn quality of them is just, yeah, absolutely fabulous. And like I said, this inspired this video because it got me thinking about the power of a reading, which is one of the themes or the power of books um which is one of the themes that runs through this book so it's having a little think about what books mean to me and why i think they're powerful i wanted to share a few of my thoughts with you um today so one of the things that i was thinking about is this kind of sense of escapism books for me are a way to journey to other places and other times and other cultures and learn about things that I didn't really know about before or gain a deeper understanding of something that I've only skimmed the surface of before um, and that is so important to me that that acquisition of, of knowledge and understanding the world and my place in it better is so important to me um, I really do believe that you can gain a much clearer understanding of how you connect to everyone and everything else and books is one of the ways of of doing that and it's one of the most powerful ways of doing that um, but escapism also means to me the idea of leaving your life behind in some sort of sense and I don't mean that in a negative way in terms of you know my life is crappy or people's lives are crappy and therefore you just want to kind of escape from that but at the same time we need these restful periods in our lives we need times where we can press the pause button on what we're doing in our real lives and escape somewhere else or to another time and spend time there. I think that's so important for a number of different reasons. Very much for me it's important for my mental health just in terms of switching off and going somewhere else. I very much would like to go off on, on holiday lots more than I actually do but in reality that doesn't happen um, you know because we have to go to work and earn money and you know and it isn't always possible to go away all of the time but I can press pause on my work life I can press pause on other aspects of my life and go and spend some time somewhere else and that's so important to my sanity I wanted to share a quote with you from Neil Gaiman that is a book is a dream that you hold in your hands because one of the things that I was thinking about is that writers have a lot of power in the fight against ignorance and intolerance I really believe that books are a way of yeah fighting that idea of of ignorance and intolerance uh, making us more aware of what's going on in different places in the world and different lives that people lead and opening our eyes to those kinds of situations and getting us to put ourselves in the shoes of those characters or um, getting us to put ourselves in those particular situations and I really do believe that it has made me a better person and that kind of leads really nicely onto the idea of books are a way of connecting people. I think that's the main reason that I'm on BookTube because I can speak so often to people who have the same sort of sort of mindset as me and the same sort of in, get the same sort of enjoyment out of books as me. 
um, and kind of connect with them and chat to them about different books that we're reading and things like that. But I also think I often have these moments where I might be at work um, and having a conversation with a group of people or I might be out and about and kind of witnessing a particular situation unfolding and because of something that I've read or um, you know something that I've seen in a book or something that I've seen discussed about a book I feel like I understand that situation so much better um, and I sometimes see in the in the group that I'm discussing something in or the conversation that I'm having with somebody else or in a situation that I'm in that um, there's not necessarily always that understanding and I really do feel like uh, my eyes have been opened a lot to and and that I understand an awful lot more from um, from reading so much. I get really frustrated when students that I teach um, spend more time sort of on their phones or on a computer game or watching TV than they do reading and I understand why that is, that's the kind of world that we live in but at the same time I kind of want to almost shake them and, and say look at how much you could learn and how much you, your eyes could be open to the world if only you were to pick up more books. Um, yeah, and I'm a real advocate for getting them to do more of that. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I absolutely adore this book and I will definitely be buying a copy of this for my nephews um, for Christmas because I think it's going to be a really cute present for them. So it's a bit shiny in the light. Um, and um, yeah, I think they will fall in love with the story just as much as I did. Um, looking forward to reading it with them over the Christmas period. So like I said, a bit of a different video today, um, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below, I've never really done sort of like a discussion video on my channel before, um, but I really enjoyed doing it and I'd love to, as always I'd love to have a chat with you in the comments below about anything that I've talked about today, what your opinion is, why you think books are important, why are they important to you, how have they changed you, um, yeah, thanks very much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video, bye.